It's a lightweight break. showdown at the Apex. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC on ESPN 38 between Armand Sarukian and Mateusz Gamrat. Sarukian, of course, he came into the division with a competitive loss to Islam Makhachev. That aged fairly well. And from that, he became a dark horse in mine in many people's eyes. He's put together five straight, most recently beating future welterweight Yoel Alvarez there. And of course, on the other side, we have Gamrot, who was a double division, both featherweight and lightweight champion over in KSW, has came over. He lost a competitive split decision to Guram Kutataladze, who is a real talent to keep an eye on. But since then, Gamrot has put together three impressive wins via finish most recently over Carlos Diego Fajeda. At the time of this video, the odds makers and public are siding with the Armenian fighter, listing Armsman Sarukian in the neighborhood of minus 300, with the comeback on your underdog, Mateusz Gamrot, in the neighborhood of plus 225 via Tipico Sports Book. Now that line feels a bit wide to me, folks. I don't disagree with who is favored as, spoiler alert, I will be going with that for my official pick, but if we're looking at this fight, Gamrot on paper is the only fighter between these two who has actually consistently kind of had that schedule and been and seen those championship rounds. He is a fighter who also arguably gets better as the fight goes on, and Gamrot on paper at least on the floor and, and, and maybe even uh, on the feet but definitely on the floor uh, is the more diverse finisher if you will right so for plus 225 if you're looking for the the, the v word the value word there I, I don't blame anybody taking a stab that being said i am going to be siding with the favorite here sarukian despite all those things i said i suspect Gamrot and arguably both men, but but particularly Gamrot, even though he's made a lot of boxing improvements, both men made a lot of boxing improvements and abilities to counter, but I believe that they need to be the better wrestler to establish their winning conditions. For that reason, I'm going to go with Sarukian, who I suspect is the better athlete and the better wrestler, also arguably the better defensive fighter if we're incorporating counter wrestling in that equation, as well as counters, which I see Sarukian's counters and kicks perhaps playing some potential dividends in this fight. For more on that, as well as stats and results this weekend, check out my in-depth breakdown over at MMAJunkie.com.